Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at these um, M. Graham watercolours. And they're really nice. You can get different sets. Uh, this is my Cityscape. Uh, so you get five different colours. You can see on the back we've got Sepia, Hansi Yellow Deep, Burnt Sienna, Payne's Grey, and, and we've got Pyrol Red. The pyro red is quite a new colour, I've not really had that before, so I'm quite interested to see how that um, looks. So it's quite a nice little set, it's quite smaller than what I expected, I don't know, just looking in the Jackson's catalogue it did look a bit bigger. And for this I'm going to be using my Bockingford, this is actually a block that I bought from uh, one of the shops in Manchester. So the first thing I wanted to do is just see how the uh, pigment comes out of the tubes. So I usually use the Jacksons and I've recently bought um, a couple of butcher's trays and one of the things I did notice and I knew it was a problem with the paints before with Jacksons, uh, when you sort of pour out the pigment from the tube you get a lot of the binder sort of um, separating from the pigment and so um, with this you don't have any of that issue the pigment comes out quite neat and um, the binders already within the pigment so you can see how how nice and vibrant the colors are first thing and i poured out quite a lot um just to to mix the water with and pull the color down and just see how the color sort of uh, gradually sort of with more water how it sort of looks so it's quite funny when I did this, um, it reminds me of uh, people. I could have turned these swashes, whatever they are, into sort of people. They look like characters to me. Um, so I just wanted to do a few colour mixing. Um, I, I'm, I'm not used to doing this, so just doing um, like a grid, using um, each colour and mixing each colour with um, each one. Um, so I kind of got this a little bit wrong, but I just wanted to show you how you can get these different colors. Because for me, um, thinking five colors, how can you do a painting with five colors? But obviously, when you mix each color, you get different tones, different sort of uh, different colors from that. So I'm just picking up bits of color from the um, color that I squirt that, that I poured out first off, and then just mixing them. I'm just using these boxes just to get all these different colors. So really nice colors. I'm, I'm really liking the way the uh, color looks, how vibrant they are, how 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 well they sort of um, sort of uh, how how well they look. And so you can see, just going in, just mixing different colours and there's many different colour combinations you could get with these um, but I just wanted to go for um, a few just to give an idea I didn't want to do a long video uh, maybe it's something I could do but let me know leave a comment if you uh, if you do use M. Graham's watercolours um, if you use Jackson's let me know what you think of Jackson's as well um, you can see the uh, the colours that you can get I really do like the Pyrrol Red. It's a really vibrant red. Um, I'm used to um, Alizarin Crimson and Cad Red. So this is a different, a new red for me. Um, but I do like the way, the, the vibrancy of this colour. And I also like the Sepia, which you can see um, is quite a nice, dark, sort of neutral sort of colour. So it's definitely something I can use uh, painting the landscape. You can see just some of the different colours that you can get by mixing. Um, again, drop us a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Um, is this something that you're uh, interested in looking at, M. Graham's? Uh, the pack of five, you can get different sets. But this pack of five cost about, four, I think it was £48. So I think it's well worth it. It's definitely something that I'm looking forward to using. Um, hope you like this video, hope it does help, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.